Hi guys, today we will discuss about quorum sensing and its mechanism. First of all, what is quorum sensing? Quorum sensing related to bacteria. Bacteria can be of any shape like rod or spiral. Quorum sensing is a bacterial communication process in which bacteria communicate to one bacteria and a group of bacteria. In biology, quorum sensing is ability to detect and respond to cell population density by gene regulation. Population density is the number of bacteria in an area. Next, we see how quorum sensing discovered. Quorum sensing was first reported in 1970 by Kenneth Nansen and Terry Pellet. It was discovered in luminescent bacterium Albibro fishery. It was observed that liquid cultures of V fishery produce light only when large number of bacteria were present. In bac uh, bacteria, best known example of quorum sensing comes from the studies of bacteria. Quorum sensing function based on the local density of bacterial population in immediate environment. It occurs in single bacterial species as well as between diverse bacteria species. Bacteria secrete signaling molecules to communicate with bacteria. Signaling molecules are different in both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Now we say what are the mechanisms of quorum sensing. There are three main steps of quorum sensing mechanism. First of all, to secrete a signaling molecule. Signaling molecule also known as autoinducers. To, second, to detect the change in the concentration of signaling molecules. And the last one, to regulate gene transcription as a response. Now we see how quorum sensing works in gram-positive bacteria. Gram-positive bacteria use auto-inducing peptides as their auto-inducer. What are auto-inducing peptides? Auto-inducing peptides are cyclic peptides produced by bacterium streptococcus for intercellular communication. When gram-positive bacteria detect high concentration of auto-inducing peptides in the environment, that happens by the way of auto-inducing peptides binding to receptor to activate a kinase. The kinase phosphorylase and transcription factor regulate gene transcription. This is called two-component system. Next, we see how quorum sensing work in gram-negative bacteria. Gram-negative bacteria produce n acyl homoserine electrons as their signaling molecules. n acyl homoserine electrons do not need additional processing and bind directly to the transcription factors to regulate gene expressions. Gram-negative bacteria may use two component system as well. In gram-negative bacteria, this is n acyl homoserine electrons and it bind directly to the receptor and regulate gene expression. While in gram-positive bacteria, the auto-inducing peptides bind to the uh, receptor and activate kinase. After the activation of kinase, the, trans, uh, the transcription process begins. Now we see what are the benefits of quorum sensing. Optimize and regulate variety of activities to communicate and to alter behavior in response to the presence of other bacteria. Allow population bacteria to coordinate global behavior. Enhance pathogenicity. Improve overall survival. It's all about quorum sensing.